this will be better. Stay in the line over there. It's good. It's really good. Boy, you, you did the, the job here, too. No, I didn't know the record was so going on time. All right, first, we got Josh Taylor here. Well, actually, at, be All right. at the beginning of the season, like Toby said, like there was only two kids coming back, and then uh, that would have been Nate, who's in the back hiding, and Kenny Wilson. Nate weighed like 90 pounds, and Kenny weighs like 180, so if it would have been those two, it would have been um, kind of rough. And then they weren't even sure if they were going to go out because they didn't know what they were going to do. It was going to be those two, but... Um, Let's see, we wrestled at, uh, in the, we wrestled in the Independence Union, Eldora, Sumner, Jessup, New Hartford, Trier, and Grinch Center this year. Uh, this year, each kid was allowed, like, up until this year, each kid got two ma two matches maximum. And this year, they were allowed three matches. Instead of going 1-1-1, uh, one, 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 they went 2-1-1 one, one for the periods. And at the beginning of the year, we didn't uh, really make it out of it. That first period very often. <laughs> because, I mean, every kid up here, Ian and Nate had both wrestled last year. Ian's the big kid and Sam next to Nate. Um, but he wrestled in Nebraska last year, and Nate wrestled here. But, uh, I mean, the beginning of the year, none of them had ever even seen the wrestling match, so, I mean, none of them made it out of the first period a couple times. But as the season went on, they started wrestling the same kids over and over, and they kept getting closer until they started beating them. So. They progressed very well throughout the year. That's kind of a big word, progressed. <laughs> <laughs> All right, first, uh, Josh Taylor. Jo this is Josh's first year. Uh, Josh was uh, 16 and 5 this year. Not too bad. <laughs> and Josh can actually pin a kid from his value. I've seen it. Josh goes from his back and like rolls right the kid right through. I don't know. He's like one of those squirmy kids. I don't know. <laughs> He's kind of limber. I'm not really so. I, you know. But Josh did a really really good job this year. Uh, next is Tyler Busey. Uh, um, Tyler was ten and four this year. He started the year off 0-2. The first meet he wrestled that was at Jessup, like right after, uh, I believe, Christmas, because somebody had a problem and couldn't pass class, so he was ineligible. So <laughs> who knows what his what his record would have been this year? Um, but I believe Mr. Edelson was at one of the meets watching Mandy cheer, and he says he coaches, but I've never seen the guy do anything. <laughs> but uh, Tyler threw a headlock. He goes, "Wow, it kind of looks like your kids actually know what they're doing." I mean. And he hits it and hits it pretty hard too, so uh, what was that? Getting five pins off of it. Is that what said? Uh, there was no managers this year and so I didn't keep track of pins or takedowns or anything, so I don't really have too many stats on them except for the record. And uh, Charlie's calling me right now, so uh, next is Ian. Ian uh, was, what did you say, he won two matches last year in the last match? Last year, I was going four matches. And this year, he was seven and nine. Uh, <laughs> Ian weighed, uh, weighed in usually right around the 200-pound mark, but when you get into junior high, there's like either a bunch of kids that weigh a lot less, or one kid from Rhinebeck who Made me look tiny. He weighed like not this tall. Uh, not 300. <laughs> Coach said he only weighed 265 or something like that. Oh, yeah. but, I, mean, I think. I mean, I look skinny. Believe it or not, stand next to this kid. <laughs> <laughs> but I weighed like three of him was to that kid. And most of it was Ian trying to do something. The kid just flopping on him, and they call him the Moose. Is actually his nickname. It's nothing like the house, but. <laughs> um, after that, we've got Nate Smith. Um, Nate was, uh, like I said, he was back from last year. He ended up 8-4. And four, and, uh, Nate, at the beginning of the year, like they, I don't know what the schools were thinking. When they match him up in junior high, we don't make weight or anything. It's just whatever I write down and send to him. 
And they, they weighed like 100 in your dressing kids, 115 and 120 pounds. And good, I mean, Nate's got a little more ability. Than some, I'm sure he had more ability than the kids, but he just couldn't do anything. I mean, they're, they're a little bit bigger than him. But at the end of the year, 84. Uh, next is uh, Busey 2, as I like to call him. Uh, Neil Busey. Uh, Neil was 116. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, Neil. <laughs> took his lumps at the beginning of the year. I mean, Neil doesn't want to hurt anybody. He's the nicest kid you'll probably ever meet. Maybe not to his brother, but, or his parents, but he goes out on the mat with just a huge smile on his face. <laughs> and, um, uh, but, if I recall, uh, he won, we were at Grundy Center, and like one of the goals I had set for myself at the beginning of the year was to make sure every kid got a victory. And going into that match, uh, or, you know, me, Neil was like 0 and 14, I believe. And the first uh, two matches of the day, he lost. I'm like, oh boy. And I'm like, but he ended up uh, wrestling I can't, a, chick. a girl. <laughs> Aldora, I believe he had lost to earlier in the year, but we won't, we won't mention that again. Uh, <laughs> You mean with the other one? Yeah. <laughs> but uh, he did, I mean, he improved a lot, but it was, I don't know, he just didn't really, he's not mean, but he says he enjoyed it, so hopefully he sticks with it, and all these kids do next year as well. And the final kid is Lee Colenfeld, and I can't, I don't think I spelled it right all year, so. <laughs> But Lee was, let's see this record here, uh, 6 and 15. Um, uh, as well, Lee started off the year kind of rough too, and uh, by the end of the year he started beating the kids. He, and I think it took him like, by the time he got his first victory, and then he started getting a little more confidence in him, and he started beating those kids again. So, um, kids not here tonight are Bryce King, who uh, had the most wins on the seventh grade team. He was nine and five. Uh, Trent and Wyan was four and 12. Uh, and then, and Kenny Wilson, who was 11 and three, I guess. 12 and three is what I got written down. Uh, Kenny and Ian, or Ian says he's gonna start lifting weights because next year we don't have a heavyweight. Mm -hmm. Ian back. His brother. Yeah, but he hasn't had beef at the takedowns for his career. His brother, on the other hand, had 85 this season. <laughs> but uh, Ian says he's going to start lifting weights, and I believe Coach Haspick says it's open at 6.15 in the morning, so maybe you can jog in. And Tuesdays and Thursdays. Tuesdays and Thursdays. And Kenny, what's that? Well, that's good. It's going to be a nice long job. You can leave early. And then Kenny also is another big kid who who will fill in well, hopefully, next year because we lose uh, 189 through heavyweight. Right? Um, but that's about it for the junior high this year. So. Nine guys in the squad, seven of them had never wrestled and ended up winning well, we were 73 and 73. half their matches. Okay. Was Neil's the last match of the year? Was yeah. Neil's match the last match of the year? Yeah. Yeah? To make but, it 500? Yeah, okay. It was impressive. I mean, we'll take it. Okay. We started the year going like 2 and 14 at duels and we ended up going like 14 and 4 to 10. So. Cool. Okay. Next. Uh, oh, before I forget, Tim says thanks to everybody for bringing all the food. It was real good. Thank you. And the other one wanted, who wanted me to say something, I forgot what it was. The raspberry. The raspberry, who made that? Marianne. Marianne Ryder? 
Oh, there you go. Or is that a family secret? No family secret? Okay. Well, like, just feel free. Just feel free to walk out there. And, yeah. Is there that many that you just want to get rid of? Hey, hey, hey. Charlie. You're, yeah, you're trying to stop him from getting in trouble. I don't believe that neither is anybody else. Um, okay, now uh, Wayne's going to come up and talk a little bit about the JV season. We didn't have a whole lot of JV guys. A couple guys were hurt. And, uh, 14, 13 guys in the varsity. We only had about six, seven guys wrestling JV most of the year. So I'll let, turn it over to him for a couple minutes. <laughs> Um, just before I begin tonight, I um, want to make a couple announcements. Like, you wrote notes? Just, just a few. <laughs> <laughs> just a minute, there's a lot of notes. Oh, um, it actually won't last that long. It'll be pretty short. Um, make a couple announcements. Uh, like they mentioned, the weight room will be open Tuesday, Thursday in the morning from 6.15 to 7.15. And that's for anybody, uh, not just wrestlers, but males, females, anybody that wants to come in. And uh, agility is also at what time? Monday, Wednesdays at 7. Okay. So if you're interested, any of you guys, um, take advantage of that. Uh, second announcement, uh, we did, uh, we had History Day just not too long ago, and we had some uh, kids do uh, a project using this program called iMovie. And uh, the more I worked with it, the more, I mean, the easier it was to figure um, how the program worked. And I was just going to let you as parents know if you have any uh, maybe still pictures, digital pictures, or maybe just some quick video clips that you'd like to send in to me. I maybe I was gonna put something together tonight, but I sure put together like a state championship uh, team uh, tape, which would be you know with some music and and uh, we could show kids in the future. And it's it's a really cool program. It's very easy to use, and, and that way <coughs> you can make copies and parents can have it, and uh, you can keep it for forever. So. If you're interested in that, let me know. Um, you can bring those in whenever you want, and uh, I can put that together here in the spring. So, kind of looking forward to that anyway. So, anyway, um, told me want to know if I want to talk tonight, and I said sure. There's not too many times when you get to, you know, talk uh, after winning a state championship. Uh, it, was, it was just an unbelievable feeling um, for everybody, the wrestlers, uh, coaches, family, supporters. Um, you know, one of the things I was most excited about when we came back to school on Monday was to kind of show off the trophy in front of the junior high kids um, on Monday. And it was really cool because I think that they realized, and I think as parents you guys realize that it's not just the conditioning, it's not just the, you know, being in shape or the skill uh, that wins state championships. It's a lot of different things. It's character, um, it's perseverance, dedication, um, it's uh, courage, it's a lot of, it takes patience. Um, and uh, our kids, exemplified all those characteristics and it, it also uh, I think has to do with the support that you have in the family that comes and support, uh, supported us throughout the year um, and sometimes it doesn't help but I think a little bit of luck especially from a nice young man from Council Bluffs that uh, um, can also help pay off towards the end but most importantly I think and I, I tried to talk about this uh, when we had our ceremony on Sunday night when we got back um, how vital this group of kids that I'm going to be talking about um, how important they are. Uh, we don't have a separate, you know, there isn't a separate squad. We have JV matches and they wrestle their matches on Saturday, but they're in the room, there's not separate coaches. They wrestle the same guys over and over and they really play a pivotal role in um, helping everybody out, whether you're varsity, JV. And, and, and one of the things that, you know, I wanted to really express to these guys, I'm gonna be bringing up here in a second, is that they have as much right to hold that trophy up and. Um, you know, with pride and it's it's as much as theirs trophy as it is um, anybody else's and um, I think that is something that you know we need to let them know and I'm going to announce who those people are and I have you guys come up and I know we're missing some freshmen but um, I'm going to have you come up I'm going to talk about them real quick because they're standing up here and then they can grab a seat okay um, we'll start with the freshmen um, I know these two aren't here I believe Alan Weeks um, Jacob White, they're not here, correct? Okay. Um, just briefly, uh, both of them had injuries. Uh, Alan didn't wrestle uh, all year, but uh, hopefully he 
sticks out next year, we'll have somebody in the upper weights that will help contribute as a young uh, person on the roster. Jacob White came out later in the season, had a, a wrist injury, uh, had a lot of natural strength and ability, um, really developed a great uh, high cross to a double leg. And uh, I think, um, as far as I know, both those young men will be back next year and they'll help out tremendously in the middleweights as well with Jacob being in there. Um, I know JD's here. JD Lickness, you want to come up here, sir? Um, <laughs> Uh, uh, you know, JD uh, really has as, as an attribute. Number one was he's really uh, willing to listen, be coached, he has a lot of questions. He's uh, he's very coachable, and as a freshman, that's probably the most important thing you can have um, going into wrestling. And I think you know, as the, the season went through, he tried some different things and uh, was really successful, and really improved, and uh, really exciting um, to have him out. He's he's a he's a goer. He's very aggressive. And uh, if he puts all that together next year, he's going to be really um, a big contribution to the team. And uh, I want you to stay up here and we'll have everybody come up, okay? Uh, sophomores, Randy Kafka. Come on up, Randy. <laughs> One last thing about JD. JD uh, usually weighed in about the 123 range in that area. Uh, he wanted to drop down to about 15, but we never did see that. But um, he was right around 23, and uh, I think you're weighing less now, right? Uh, about the same? Uh, so it would be nice to keep him down at that level uh, for next year. Randy, um, another uh, dedicated young man, works really hard, um, really wants to learn and uh, understand technique. He took a year off, wrestled at, was it AP before he came here, but you had a year off at AP. Then, uh, so we kind of had to, you know, clear the cobwebs a little bit and, and uh, re, uh, re go over some of that technique and he really did an outstanding job. He's going to be a great addition. Um, most of the time you're in what range did we have in about upper 70s, 78 I was thinking, somewhere in there. Um, so it'll be tremendous to have him. We've got a lot of these younger kids that are going to fill some of the upper weights which you've noticed in our duels. You know we don't have a lot of numbers in so that that's definitely going to be good news and uh, we're looking for Randy to really step it up next year as a junior. Um, Taylor Witt. Um, Taylor, uh, I can't express and tell you how lucky we are to have this young man. He, uh, I guess the word I would use to describe him is dedicated. He's, he's a tremendous hard worker. Um, he's always, uh, doesn't say a lot. He just, he's a leader by example. And uh, he's something that, somebody that will be a leader um, in, his, in his upperclassmen years. Uh, he finished the year JV-wise at 19 and 6, and a lot of you that came to wrestling meets knew that Taylor uh, could wrestle on a lot of other varsity teams very easily. And, uh, and it was just a misfortune of our lineup, you know, the way it was set up. Uh, Taylor uh, definitely has what it takes to wrestle at the varsity level, and uh, uh, I think next year, um, if we can get him up to about 215 or somewhere in there, uh, no, it, it could be any way, uh, you know, wherever he ends up next year, he's going to be a benefit and a plus to the team. And I know, you know, there were times where he was wrestling varsity, he was in every match most of the time, and uh, really uh, did an outstanding job this year. Uh, juniors, Nathan Robertson. Nathan. Nathan, uh, you know, Nathan and Taylor both had a lot of experience in varsity this year as well. They, you know, interchanged. They wrestled off a lot. It was back and forth, uh, very competitive. Um, but they both had varsity time, and Nathan uh, had as well a lot of varsity time. But at the JV level, Nathan racked up a 15 and four record. And as you know, coming to meet, you guys realize that we had some dominant JV wrestlers, wrestlers at our upper, uh, you know, age levels. And, and Nathan was one of those as a junior. Um, again, the misfortune of being in a real tough area with a lot of kids, um, but uh, is a tremendous uh, wrestler on the mat, is a goer. Um, last year, I know I commented on uh, practice ethics. Uh, we talked about it a little bit. Um, but this year has really improved that and has just done a tremendous job this year. And, um, you know, every time he steps on the mat, you know, you know Nate's in every match. And, uh, and, I, and I'm talking varsity. And we're looking for him um, and, and all of these guys up here to uh, contribute next year varsity level. So. Nathan Robertson. And now we are to the seniors. Let's have, uh, we'll start with Sam Kilgore. <laughs> Sam,
game, I believe this was well. Actually, your, your first year out for high school wrestling. Yeah. Did you go out your junior junior seventh idol? Grade. Seventh grade. So uh, Sam had taken quite a few years off, uh, <laughs> but we loved having him out. Uh, just a great kid. Uh, his first, you know, I put his first year out, but I, I forgot he'd started in seventh grade. Um, you know, there are very few times a varsity wrestler can say they've beaten somebody four times in a year. Um, Sam Kilgore, Sam was at four times. There's a kid that you beat this year, or is it just three? Three or four? Three? Okay, I thought it was four, but he defeated a kid three times in a row, and as you know, the more times you wrestle somebody, the harder it is to, to win, and uh, he did it three times to one kid, and uh, he's improved, he improved all through the year, um, really developed um, skills on his feet, um, kept his head up on the bottom position, which was something he had to work on right away, and, and we were just proud to have him out, and it was a great uh, influence on our guys, so thank you, Sam. We're going to miss all of these seniors coming up here. Sam's one of them. Uh, Cop Ford. Uh, it's nice to have, you know, a, for Kyle's sake, it's, it's tough for Kyle. He's a senior. He had a lot of varsity experience last year as a junior. Uh, there's a lot of kids that are staying up here that can easily step into a varsity lineup in a lot of high schools in the state. And uh, Kyle would be one of them. And uh, he racked up a, a record of 20 and 5 at the JV level. And uh, he had, uh, 16 falls, 16 pins. He's really, uh, when, when Kyle was on top and he uh, was able to get a wrist and a half, 99% of the time it was going to be over. And uh, he knew how to finish that and uh, really did not say any job at the JV level. But like I said, it's nice to know you have some reserves that are wrestling JV that could step in the varsity lineup any time and be very competitive. And Kyle was one of those guys. And uh, we're going to miss him, um, just having him around the practice room and, and helping everybody out all the way through up in the lineup. Um, so we're going to miss him as well. And uh, it, it, it is great to leave knowing that, you know, you're dominant at the JV level, but you know you can compete at the varsity level. And last but not, not least, the last senior, Ryan Gunther. Come on up, Ryan. Um, Ryan, uh, you know, I very few times, one now would be one of those where you, you don't see Ryan without a Mountain Dew or a Coke in his pocket. And he went into a weigh in, I remember it was like quarter to eight in the morning, and he weighed in, and it was for a, a I can't remember which meet. And, you know, he was done weighing in, he asked me some questions. I'm filling out the, the sheet, and he's drinking a Coca Cola at quarter to eight in the morning. But uh, it, 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 it happened quite a bit. But anyway, uh, Ryan uh, finished the year 13 and 3 JV, and again, he's not saying that. Ryan's had a lot of varsity experience um, dating back, uh, way back to his freshman year. And, you know, it's, it's kind of tough to stick it out four years knowing that you could wrestle varsity somewhere else. But, again, you don't have that opportunity. But to rack up 13 wins, this, you know, Ryan was one of those guys that could rack up 20 points in a JV match in one or two periods. And you saw that at Bell Plain, I think he scored 24 points, 23 in a, in a match against a Bell Plain uh, kid. And, he had one of the best firemen's, uh, you know, on the team. And if he did it correctly, finished it right, he uh, it'd be a five-point move about every time. And uh, you know, we're going to be sad to see all these seniors go. But Ryan, uh, to stick it out, uh, very successful career. Okay, uh, but uh, we're going to miss all of these guys, um, especially these seniors. And uh, I just want to let them know that. Uh, their contribution to the program, especially Ryan's been around four years and Kyle has been around two two years, right, Kyle? Three years. Three years? Two. Two years. And then Sam for this last year. We're going to miss what you did and what you did leading wise for the team. So let's give these all, all the teams a round of applause. Also, we have another young man. Um, Tucker, you want to come up here? Come on up here. Mr. Young. Um, uh, the guy was varsity, uh, didn't get a lot of JV matches, uh, was, I think, 1-0 and on the season. Uh, we were trying to get the weight down, make sure we were ready to go, but, uh, you know, here's a young man that stuck it out, did an awesome job, practiced, worked hard. I know worked out a lot with Toby, um, quick on his feet, uh, had a lot of attributes that I hope some of these younger guys 
uh, continue to have. And when I mean quick on his feet, I mean quick on his feet. He was he was good. And, uh, and uh, we're gonna be, we're gonna be missing Tugger too. And I, I thought we were gonna mention Tugger with the varsity, so that's why I didn't mention him. Okay, so that's why I didn't have him on my list. So we're gonna leave him with varsity. But um, let's give him one more round of applause. Speech giving than I am, obviously. I must be teaching. I don't know. Teaching. Yeah. Yep. He can. He knows how to fill 30 minutes a lot easier than I do. I usually, if I get a, if you get 10 minutes out of me, it's a good day, especially in a situation like this. Um, so now, first, we'll move into our letter winners. Um, the cheerleaders. How many are here? We have three. We have two here. I have no idea if she's giving you your letters yet. No, then we'll have to take care of that. If you two could stand up though real quick. We started with six, five, okay, and then it was four and three, and then at one time we thought there might be none, and then there was three again. Some, um, no, we won't get into that too much. But I, I heard it on a trip home one day how we might not have any at one time, and then we were back to three. And uh, so Jackie and Jacqueline and Eric is not here tonight. Um, they do a lot of work. I know they spend a lot of time working on stuff over here after school, sharing and stuff like that. Um, things they do around the school, and uh, they put a lot of time in, and we appreciate that, what they do. Um, sometimes they get uh, ignored, not noticed, or whatever, when they're at the meets. But uh, they, they put a lot of time in, and again, just want to thank them for that. And they, I don't know, Jacqueline, how many years have you been doing this now? How many? Three. Three? Okay. This is your first year, right, Jackie? With us, anyway, for sure. Yeah. So, um, probably your third letter then, I assume? Yeah. Okay. And then Jackie's first. And uh, just to thank them for the time they put in. Ashley made it. He's the only one, just half of them. You gotta come up here though. Oh, well, Chico was our third manager in Des Moines. He thought he might get, you know, free tickets out of it or something. I don't know what he was what thinking. Pointy? Pointy didn't want to be mentioned. I think he just wanted the free bus ride. <laughs>